everyone. So I've got two hauls here from Peach Cheap. Okay, um, let's get started with the bigger one. So this haul was from, I know, it's, it's kind of weird. I never usually order from Peachy Cheap, but lately they've been putting out some stuff that I'm like really, really into. So, um, or not so much that I'm into it. It's just that I finally decided, okay, I'm gonna bite the bullet and get it. Okay, so this is from the Marigold Collection. Now, um, Let's start with the paper. If you watched my previous scrapbook.com haul, you did see that I did purchase some Marigold paper. So this, it was buying this that prompted me to buy the rest from <laughs> scrapbook.com. So what we have here are the cut aparts, okay? Very nice. Now I love this collection because it is much, it's much more muted than the usual um, Maggie Holmes, you know, type of colors, even though this is crepe paper and not under the Maggie Holmes um, brand, still, still all the same. They all kind of like go well with each other. This is kind of more of a fall kind of feeling to me. So with this next one here, which is a, it's fall, but then it's got like a fawn. So, you know, spring really, um, you got the wood grain on the back. Oh, sorry. This one right here was called Remember When, okay? Then this one is called Very Dear. <laughs> Next one, you've got the um, pencil or doodle looking of, you know, like the peonies. This is um, Stay True. And this is the back side. Then we've got here, which I love, Becoming. Love the blues here. That's the uh, the back side, and then more again of the best day, which I think I purchased two of them probably from my other haul. Okay, so these are the papers. You only get six. So then after that, you get the sticker sheet. Okay, really nice. You got a lot of stickers here. So got that, and then. Um, I got the um, puppy stickers something this is not normally something I would purchase separately that is because they're so big and I don't do really big layouts but you know it's always still nice to have so you get a lot of them I do like this one right here with the flower that one's really nice then I've got the um, embellishments okay with the foiled ones so you get five embossed and vellum pieces. So we got the foiled, the vellum, and the regular, okay? So they're all right here, okay? And then we have the, um, the acrylic stamp set, which is always nice. Um, I'm gonna see how these turn out, especially in um, my Hobonichi on that paper. But I do, you know, I always love stamps, even though I don't use them as often as I should be. And then, of course, our last one right here is the um, the the floral washi. So I like that you know you can create your own little flowers and stuff, but you just don't get really a lot. And it blows my mind how much they charge for so little. You know, so it's only just one yard, which is crazy. So. I mean, at least I got it, you know, in this bundle, but yeah, I would never buy this like separately because it's ridiculous if they're going to charge $6 for like, you can only make like what, probably five flowers. That's crazy. So anyways, um, this is what I got from Peachy Cheap, um, for, I think I ordered it two weeks ago, maybe. Okay. So then just, um, last week. I ordered this die that I saw on Instagram. Somebody had posted about it and I was just like, oh my God, I have to have that. Anyways, oh, it is, see, it's like, ugh. It's called a, it's from the Coco and Reno line that Peachy Cheap has, like their subscription die um, thing. But I was able to purchase it separately and it was $13.99, I think. Regularly, they said it's $19.99. So I, that's why I, I jumped on it. So this is a four pocket folder die, okay? No instructions. So I'm gonna see if I can find a video um, online on how to, um, to 
put this together. And of course you have this one right here. So it's gotta be the flap that goes right there. So you can see. So um, yeah, because I guess this is for each side. I don't know. See, I'm just surprised. It came with no instructions at all, which to me is kind of stupid. So maybe I'll go back on the website and see. Cause I think I, I saw a video on this on the website, but um, well maybe it's behind the die. Nope, still not. Like why, why would you not put instructions on how to, how to use the die? You know, once you cut it out, everything just weird. But anyways, that's what I got from PG cheap. Hope y'all are having a good weekend. Bye-bye.